It's a free thinking room, so you don't have to participate at all. Uh, but the idea there is to uh, maybe engage your brain a little bit more than, than normal, because we are going to engage a little bit more than normal afterwards. Um, so that, if that makes sense. Um, and with, all, with, with that said, let me let me get started if, if you're ready there. Good. All right. So first of all, I am going to, um, and I'm going to try to do this in, in, a, in a very condensed version. And um, but before I get started. Well, I'm already going to agree. We're uh, collectively, well, not collectively, but I'm going to agree, or I'm going to uh, suppose that when I get done making my point, that nobody here is going to agree with me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take that one step farther. I'm going to say that at the end of this, you're all going to say, mm, no, you're just wrong. Okay? And even though when we all get done, that I believe that your heads will be twisting versus nodding. And then you're going to, we've already agreed, this is, my, this is my takeaway, if you will, or rather this is me using a sales technique called disarming. So when you know the objections, I'm going to take them from you already. Okay? So I already, I'm going to say that you're not only you're going to disagree, you're just going to flat out say that I'm wrong. And that's perfectly okay. But here's the challenge, and here's what I say. Before now, and this time tomorrow, you will contemplate the point that I made. This is, that's, that's my challenge. Okay? Now, why is it that I say that um, you're going to disagree with me? Because I'm going to tell you that I have found the answer to a question I've pondered very long for a very, very long time, and that is, what is the most important thing in life? I'm going to tell you that I know what the most important thing in life is. Okay? Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into how all this came about, but for during the course of a day, each one of us find this usually at some point during the day when we have a moment to ourselves. And during that moment to ourselves, when it's usually we're in the shower or we're on the way to work or we are, it's the moment when we turn off the TV between then and when we fall asleep at night, but we have time to ourselves away from our family when, when the opportunity presents itself to consider things like life, the universe, the meaning of it all. Now, I'm not saying that we do contemplate things of that nature, but the opportunity is there. And for whatever reason, ever since I've been in the eighth grade, I have asked myself the same question, and this is no exaggeration, thousands and hundreds of thousands of times, and that is, what is the most important thing in life? For a very long time, I did not come up with an answer. I simply came up with basically an idea or a process to eliminate things that it couldn't be. And any time that you ask yourself something like that, you're, you're going to start out with probably the big answers or the big questions. What is the most important thing in life? There's some things out there that you would probably, at the top of your head, or you've already said to yourself, I know the answer to that, which is kind of where I started. Big things, things like family, love, uh, God, those sort of things. So I thought about that. And we'll take family, for example. And if, if it's the most important thing in life, something like family, I mean, that has to be at the top. Family is what we come to work for, to we support, to we're around. So I thought about that. It made, there's a good argument to be made there. But I'll use myself as an example. I don't live with my family. My family's not in this state. I don't talk to them all the time. Some members of my family I've talked to for a very long time. There's no, we're, we're, we're not angry at each other. We're just not a close-knit family. And me, I don't know my extended family at all. Wouldn't know if they were standing in front of me. Okay, but a very small family unit. The last two weeks, I haven't thought about them at all. So, is it the most important thing in life? If it's the most important thing in life, it should be prevalent daily. At least it should be persistent. So, last week, when I'm out golfing, or on the way home, and I'm thinking about, hey, Coley, want to get together and have a beer? Or, hmm, do I go to the driving range? My family doesn't factor in there. It should, if it's the most important thing in life. Okay? Money. For the very, very longest time, money was the front runner for me. It's, you can make a huge argument that money is the most important thing in life. None of us here have almost have anything that we have if it's not for money. Money is our pursuit, what we go to school for. We, I mean, we all know that. There's no, there's no, um, it's hard to argue with money. And it was very difficult for me to argue with money. The problem is, is that if it's the most important thing in life, it shouldn't matter what your station is. In other words, if it's the most important thing in life, Bill Gates has to be as important to Bill Gates as it is to the guy that lives under the bridge, because it's the most important thing in life. Therefore, things like money and family don't quite work out. 
not saying they're not important. And as I went through this thought process, it kind of dawned on me that it can be a part of those things by all means. It can be a part of faith, religion, God, money, family, those sort of things. But in an entity unto itself, in other words, in its smallest, break one down to its basic, basic part, it can't be those things. That'd be like saying, what's the most important part of a car, and you saying the engine. Well, there's a lot to an engine. Okay? So, it also dawned on me that if it's the most important thing in life, you probably can't manipulate it. You can't escape it. You can't avoid it. It should probably be in harmony with things that you value and that you believe and that you work for. It shouldn't be something you have to learn about or be educated about or have a deep understanding to understand. Now, you may not realize that it's the most important thing in life, or I didn't, but once you do, or once I did, it was simple to understand. If, and it shouldn't matter who you are, what your station in life is, where you are, or when you are. So if you're the first human, if you're the man on the moon, if you're the emperor in Rome, if you're somebody in a jungle that's never seen or heard outside of their own small tribe of people, it should still be the most important thing in life. And I'm not talking about the basics. I'm not talking about food, water, shelter, or air. We're not talking about existence. No, we can't live on Mars yet. I'm talking about life. And the difference between existence and life is that if you have a life, you have the ability to propel yourself and to um, better your station. Okay? Again, I don't know why I thought about this or why I pondered it so long, but I did. And recently, very recently, I had basically an epiphany. Now, I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to tell you that not only are you not going to agree with me, but you're also going to ponder this, not between today, right now, and this time tomorrow, but you're going to ponder this between today and tomorrow morning before you wake up, or tomorrow morning right after you wake up. Did you know why that is? Why? Because the way that you feel when you wake up in the morning is the most important thing in life. The way that you feel when you wake up in the morning, a very, very strange thing happens when you wake up in the morning. Your subconscious and your conscious have a collision. You're not quite there yet. And in that moment, whether it's a few minutes or a few seconds, you wake up and you are who you are. You haven't had, a, you haven't had an opportunity yet to lie to yourself, to let somebody else affect you, to escape your demons, you just are. You haven't had your coffee, you haven't been influenced by anybody. You can't avoid it, you can't manipulate it, you can't escape it, unless you don't wake up. It doesn't have to be in the morning, by the way. Okay? The most important thing in life is the way that you feel when you wake up in the morning. It's a barometer of who you are. If you wake up continually and you are unhappy, guess what? So is your life. If you wake up happy, you're a happy person. If you wake up excited or dull or in angst or pissed off, guess what? That's the summary of your life. Now, maybe not from the third grade, but it's certainly the summary of times that have pretty recently passed. Okay? Here's what happened to me. I had an opportunity, a little while ago, very recently, December, before December 15th of this year, I was in a working situation where I was making some money and I was getting paid kind of daily sometimes. I had a friend of mine that was in need and I decided that every day that I got paid over a certain amount, I was going to share with him and give him money. I met him the first day, had a beer, gave him some money. He said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm doing okay. I know that you're in need. This is something I'm trying, I'm trying to prove a point. It's a completely different point. I did it to him the first day. The next day, I woke up and I felt fucking awesome. I felt so awesome. I felt awesome. And it dawned on me. I can go back and count on one hand, maybe not, that's not true. Um, I can count the number of times I felt this good. And every single time was either when I had done something cool, I had accomplished something, I had something to do of importance and was prepared for. I felt really good this morning. I enjoy what I do here and I'm reasonably prepared today. Okay? I felt awesome. I felt awesome. If you ever have won a race or you've won an event 
or you've, you've, you've won a game, you feel good, but you feel great the next day because you've done this thing. There's a guy I know that we work with who went skydiving, and I like being around him the day after he skydived because he's all, I can tell he woke up great because he spent a minute and a half falling out of a plane almost dying and popping a parachute because it gets you amped up. You can't jump out of a plane every day. I can't win a race every day, but I can feel awesome every day. Here's what happened. It turns out, I did this with this guy three or four times. I was able to give him some money. This is kind of a caveat to the story. It turns out that I gave him the exact amount of money that he needed to save his house from going into foreclosure. And it was serious. They were like, this is it. Game's over. Don't be late tomorrow with your money. It worked out awesome. It even made me feel more awesome. Five days after that, the wheels came off for me, and I was completely broke. didn't know how to pay rent. I have no regrets from that moment. The most important thing in life is the way that you feel in the morning when you wake up. You can't be out of line with what you believe. You can't be out of line with your, your uh, purpose. You can't be out of line with anything and feel awesome. It's not possible. I don't believe. Now, it's not the most important thing you feel at night, the night before. It gets you got to have a great time. Wake up the next morning and go like this. But we've all had those days when we put our head in our hands because we're not exactly happy with who we are. And then we go through the rest of the day fooling and kidding ourselves. The most important thing in life, I believe, that you don't agree with, and it's okay, is how you feel when you wake up in the morning. And that's how I feel about the truth So that's all I know. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Good job, good job. Mm. What if you never go to sleep?